So we want to use a pivot chart to create a presentation. In this case, oh my God, give me like fantasy. Look at this. <laughs> Traffic, weather, and air pollution. So I want to find uh, the relationship between this using the data. So you could, in your presentation, you can have different slides. The first slide would be outline. Okay, in the outline, I want to look into first, I want to look into the data, what data I have. And then I want to look into the method of collection. And then I want to put my result in there. At the end, I want to have a conclusion. So uh, again, for now, let's just leave this empty. I can come back and fill it later on. What types of data were collected? And then the next slide could be for my um, method of, or like again, would be like more into method of description of it. What types of method I use? I use pivot chart. And then a new slide, I'm gonna put different results. The first result I have, I have for uh, the car traffic or truck traffic. So go to your Excel file, click on this, and then copy this. When you are going to PowerPoint, when you want to paste it, you have all sorts of options. Right click, you have all sorts of options using destination themes. Forget about all of it, just paste it as a picture. So the first one is for car traffic. Now what I want to do, I want to look into truck traffic. So let's go back to the Excel file where we have average of car. What I like you to do, click on it and, and drag it to the top. So this will actually remove the car from there. Now what you could do, click on, this time click on total truck and then bring that to the value. Now what, what you are seeing right now is showing you sum of total truck. I'm not interested in sum. Click on this and then change value field setting. Change it again to average. Bingo. So then let's copy this and then going to PowerPoint, paste it here. So I want to make the two charts the same size so I can do a comparison. I can actually overlap them again. These are different different counts. So one of them, the maximum is 600. The other one maximum is 1600. So they are not the same. Uh, but again, like if you look into this result, like in a blink of a second, in less than a minute, I could create a report and I could actually present that report. So the report that I can present at, at this moment is that, okay, car and truck traffic, they look like different in different day of week. Uh, the funny part is that the car look like in every weekday, they look like the same. They have a different patterns on the weekend. But for truck traffic, you can see there are consistent traffic in the day of 3, 4, and 5. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, trucks are all the same. On Monday, we have less traffic in the morning. In Friday, we have less traffic in the afternoon. It's just completely clear. In Friday afternoon, we have less traffic because the truck, they need to go long distance. And then by the time they get to there, the warehouses are closed. So we have less traffic on Friday uh, afternoon, less traffic in Monday morning because they have not loaded yet. They are loading in, the in, in, in Monday morning. You can see the same pattern in Saturday and Sunday. Again, in a blink of a second, I can create meaningful results from my data using pivot table. If you are working in any place and you have access to data, start tinkering with those data and start creating reports. So the next slide I wanna create, so I had a comparison between uh, truck traffic and car traffic. I wanna have the same comparison with respect to month. So I wanna see how they look like in different months. Uh, in order to do that, again, go back to your Excel file. In the Excel file, again, the question I have, I wanna find average car and truck down here, I like it to be time. Here, instead of weekday, I like it to be season. So what I could do, I could just drag it from here, drop it on the top. This time, click on the month. And then bring month, sorry, don't click on the month. Bring the month 
to the legend or to the call. Uh, again, month is very busy. Let's forget month, bring season down. So as you can see here, for truck traffic is consistent with all seasons, not much of change in different season um, with respect to time. So let's copy this. This is for now for truck. Again, there is, there is the thing that you can play with it and then create any types of report you want. So I want to paste this as a picture. Again, when you paste it, please paste it as a picture. I want to go to the same file this time. Instead of values, uh, average of truck, I'm interested in average of cars. Just click on it and bring the cars down. Uh, before you move ahead, remember to, um, this is a sum. I need to change the sum to average. So, so I'm done with it. Copy this and then paste it in the same location. So you can do analysis like this or we can go further ahead. We can go further ahead and then find relationship with Again, not much difference with car traffic with respect to season either. Like in some seasons, like winter, it's slightly more traffic, but again, it doesn't have any meaning why we have slightly more traffic in, in the winter. But again, that could be that given year. Um, so it's not consistent for, for every other year. Uh, I want to do a little bit more analysis on the temperature. So let's do like more on the weather data. If I do on the weather and I go back down here, um, you can simply bring the car up. So click on it, drag it up. It will remove the car from there. So if I'm interested in temperature with respect to season, I already know the answer. So I don't need to kill myself. Is that in season, summer is warmer. And then change the sum to average. And kind of makes sense during midday you have like I can say the hottest hour of the day is simply uh, is around like 3 p.m. or 3 3 p.m. is is the warmest time and then we have the highest in the summer next fall and winter and spring they have the same very similar temperature like in the in the around the noon you can see uh, again Depending on what types of category we have, I don't know why it's looking weird. Or winter is not colder than or spring, or spring is colder than winter. So it could be like we have some calculation error somewhere. Um, again, yeah, I'm looking at the average. It should be the opposite way. So we have calculation error somewhere. But again, I can copy this, paste it in here. Again, now is the time we need to go and check our equation where we did the calculation of season because uh, we can see discrepancy in our data. This thing doesn't, doesn't make sense. Winter should be colder. So if I go in here and then check the equation, if is equal to one, 11 or 12, call this winter. So I, I'm, yeah, 11, 12 and one is winter. And then less than five is spring. Yeah, equation makes sense, but I don't know. The data doesn't make sense. Uh, now the next thing that you could do like for instance we did the same analysis you can do a little bit more analysis on uh, like um, again wind speed you would be like very similar chart if I do wind speed to values change the sum to average okay you know that wind is like we have calm is calmer at night we have less wind at night a little bit more again is follow the same trend as um, as the temperature but with respect to season is different we know in some season we have lots of wind look like spring and then not much wind in, in the other season again my, my bad I paste it so paste as a picture So I want to do a little bit more analysis of the data into the air pollution. So add a new slide here and then going back into my file, 
looking into creating more with respect to air pollution so let's do that i have the time and the season again um, i have one question that whether air pollution is different with respect to different day of week or not like if this is a weekend or this is the weekday air pollution will be different or not i know wind speed and the temperature they're not going to be different because weather doesn't follow anything related to human but whether air pollution is different in weekdays or weekend anybody has if you have uh, if you know the answer type it in the chat box i like to read your comments but again air pollution would be human related i guess because it's coming from car it's coming from trucks it's coming from our activity so uh, i want to do i want to drag the season all the way up and instead of season i bring this time uh, type of day here and instead of wind speed again if you bring type of day weekend weekdays they are very similar in these types of day like some a little bit different in different place i'm not interested in wind speed i want to see like for instance nox with respect to a different day and then you can absolutely see that look at there so uh, I, again is the sum of nox i change it to average of nox nox stands for no2 the unit here like is from 0 to 120 the unit here is actually part per million how many part per million we have if you if you look into here you can see very sharp in the morning that's actually how it looked like in the morning early morning we have um, a very high concentration of nox and then during the day it drops because this converted to other components of nitrogen and in weekend we have a much lower concentration of the nox so let me just to copy this and then paste it in our presentation I don't know whether I paste it as a picture or not. I'm going to just check, check again. That's the NOx. The next thing I want to do, <laughs> I want to do it with PM 2.5. So let's check off the NOx. Or click on the NOx, bring it up. Click on PM 2.5, bring it down. Change the count to, again, this time it give me count. So don't look at the automatic one. So I want to, I'm interested in the average. And then copy this and paste it in our power presentation powerpoint presentation the next experiment i want to do i want to see whether nox or pm 2.5 is different with respect to season or not so i go back into the file and then change the type of week bring season to legend or to column and then make sure that you are in average i mean average of pm 2.5 i can copy this go to powerpoint paste this and then click on the nox because i have the pm 2.5 bring it up bring nox down it looked like a game but it's like a very fun game because in this fun game we can actually do lots of work in a little bit of time create great types of report so copy this go back to powerpoint and then paste it here so in this presentation we actually create all sorts of um, graphs by summarizing our data this is called data analysis and we have like 5000 record in one year and we have meaningful results out of those data 